Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you an Armed Forces Bowl game preview between the Rice Owls and the Air Force Falcons. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Rice Owls. When you look at the Rice Owls in this ball game, you look at a big play offensive attack that has a quartet of playmakers. You look at quarterback Taylor McHargue, outstanding passer, running back Charles Ross, and the receivers Taylor and Sam McGuffey. But look for the Owls to attack Air Force vertically. They can attack the secondary in the passing game. I think that's how they're going to have some success. Although they don't use it as much as they did last year, but they have to find ways to hand Sam McGuffey the football out of the backfield. But when we look at big play running back Charles Ross, you have to like what they bring to the table as far as every aspect of their game. They force you to cover not only every quadrant of the field, but also make you defend versus a very stout running game. Defensively for the Rice Owls, there's a lot of talent up front, and to their credit, they've played a lot better over the course of the last four games, which enabled them to become bowl eligible to play in this Armed Forces Bowl. I like what I see up front with Cody Bauer, the defensive end, Hosam Shaheem, the defensive tackle, but this game provides a different challenge for the Owls. Look for more discipline and less athleticism, more of a just-do-your-job type of approach. Play discipline. If you have the pitch man, take the pitch man. If you have the dive, take the dive. Don't try to be a hero. And that way you can limit Air Force's offensive attack and avoid your defense being involved in long sustained drives. Now let's move over to Air Force in this ball game, and they have a deadly triple option offensive attack led by quarterback Connor Dietz. And what's most impressive about Dietz is how much he's improved on his passing. But when you look at running back Cody Getz over 1,200 yards this season, he adds an explosive element to this offense. Now versus Rice, I think Dietz can have some success throwing the football off those play action passes. Wide receiver Ty McArthur can have some success catching those big plays downfield. So look for the passing game to loosen up the box, which could open things up for Getz and Dietz running the football. Mission number one for the Falcons is locate and take away Sam McGuffey, the big playmaker for Rice. And I'm a big fan of super athletic linebacker Alex Means. This guy has the ability to cause all kinds of disruption in the backfield and as always the secondary for the Falcons will be tested as well as the rest of this pass defense they struggle in coverage and they struggle in giving up the big play one thing the Falcons have struggled with all season long has been third down defense and that can't happen versus an explosive offense like the Rice Owls otherwise it could be a long day Sam McGuffey has one thing that NFL scouts drool over, and that's versatility. This guy can line up in the backfield as a tailback and be productive, can also line up as a split or even in the slot as a receiver and also be productive. So when you have a guy that can do so much for your offense and also has a big play ability with the breakaway speed, it makes him an intriguing prospect. So keep an eye on him throughout the course of the offseason. And like I said before, I'm a big fan of Alex Means, the tremendous linebacker for the Air Force Falcons. Now, he will have his two-year military commitment, so when you draft him this year, it's probably going to be just drafting his right. So you may see someone take a flyer on him later on in the draft, but once he's ready to play, I guarantee it will pay off for that franchise. Quarterback Tommy Kramer was a campus legend for the Rice Owls in the 70s. You talk about a guy that left the university as a career leader in passing yards, touchdowns, completion percentage, was also a consensus All-American in 1976, MVP of the Senior Bowl as well in 76, and also is a member of the Rice Football Hall of Fame. A decorated collegiate career led him to being a first-round selection of the Minnesota Vikings. And Bo Morgan was as an explosive playmaker as Denard Robinson is this day and age. When you look at what he did for Air Force from 94 to 96, big plays waiting to happen constantly. This guy finished 10th in the Heisman Trophy voting in 1996, finished his career at Air Force with over 40 touchdowns. This guy, like I said before, reminded me a lot of Denard Robinson and what he brought to the table and was a tremendous leader for that Falcons football team. I like Rice in this ball game. Despite the offensive line struggles, I like what I saw the last four weeks of the season. This was a team that turned it around defensively. They stopped giving up the big play, and offensively, they continued to hit their stride. They're a big play waiting to happen. Now, Air Force provides a different challenge. You have to be disciplined, but given the fact that they had a month to prepare for this type of offense, I think the Owls will come away winners of the 2012 Armed Forces Bowl.